Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why and how I think LaMelo Ball and RJ Hampton are going to change the NBL's left further ado, let's get straight into it. So, for those of you guys who haven't heard about it, LaMelo Ball and RJ Hampton actually elected not to sign or go to a college for their 2019-20 uh, season and Basically, they actually decided to come here to Australia, and it absolutely blew the world away when RJ Hampton did it, but even more people were extremely excited with when LaMelo Ball did it, and I was actually very happy this. Obviously, I'm an Australian myself, and I very much loved when this happened, and it was such a good feeling to see it happen, and the NBL is forever going to be changed for this, and yeah, I know a lot of people, some people got surprised by the decision, but some people didn't. Some people knew about LaMelo's circumstances with the colleges and all this type of stuff. A lot more people, I think, were surprised with RJ Hampton. But, yeah, the NBL is forever going to be changed because of this for, you know, a long, a long amount of time. It was theorized, what's the second best league behind the NBA? A lot of people say it's, you know, the CBA, um, the European leagues, and, you know, the uh, NBL. A lot of people were very much deciding on it right now, and, you know, a lot of people were deciding which leagues were better, what has the better teams, and all of this stuff, and obviously, the NBL might have just taken that crown, and will probably be getting better and changing forever. I think it was two new teams just got introduced into the NBL, and they're definitely building something very big now, and I can't even remember how many teams there are, but I'm pretty sure there's, like, 10 or more. There's quite a bit of teams now, and... Obviously, LaMelo Ball and RJ Hampton, I think you're going to start this new wave of, instead of players, you know, signing with the G League or going to a college, I think they might actually end up coming to the NBL, which obviously will make the league even better. So, we've already seen, you know, a LaMelo Ball play and how, when, how and what he's done and how exciting he's been and literally ankle broke an Aussie player like twice. Absolutely insane. He has been amazing and has shown everyone how good he is and most likely has shown everyone that he could potentially be the number one pick. Well, RJ Hampton, I haven't really seen much of his game, but I've heard that he's actually been playing pretty decently for New Zealand. Nothing special, but nothing bad. Kind of what you're expecting, obviously. He's a young kid, only like 18 years old, I think, so he's not going to be good, you know, from the start, but I think that he'll eventually get better, and yeah, obviously, things have changed. I don't even actually know if New Zealand has played, but I'm just saying that some people are saying he's been good in, like, training and all this stuff, but yeah, I've heard some good things from him so far, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, he might be a slower start than what LaMelo might be, but LaMelo has been an absolute jet. He has been insane, and I think a lot of players coming into the 2021 draft, the one after LaMelo and RJ, will most likely be actually be heading to the NBL, and obviously the NBL just got two new teams introduced this year, I'm pretty sure, which was the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix, and I'm pretty sure they got another team introduced. I can't really remember who it was, but I'm sure a couple other teams will be um, being introduced too. Obviously, there's some AFL teams, you guys don't know what AFL is, all you Americans and stuff out there. Uh, AFL is um, Australian Football League. I definitely recommend watching it. It's arguably the best sport in the world, and it's definitely my favorite sport. It's a very good sport, and obviously, uh, there's a couple of AFL teams that are going to be rumoring to get some NBL teams. There's currently no AFL team has an NBL team, but there might. There was a rumor a couple of years ago that Essendon were potentially exploring it. I don't know if that's going to happen at all. But yeah, I expect a lot more recruits to potentially come to the NBL, and that's how it's going to be changed forever. Not just that, a lot of recruits are obviously going to come to the NBL, but I think a lot of players might start look at coming to the NBL as well. Obviously, Andrew Bogut came to the NBL, who was an Aussie. He was pretty much the first player to start this change, and then obviously LaMelo and RJ pretty much followed along. There's going to be a couple other players here and there that are also going to, I think, potentially come to the NBL. Once the money gets even better here, obviously, LaMelo, I think, they sold out jerseys pretty much on the first day for him or something. They're going to continually do that, like, all year. All these teams are going to be getting so much money. The NBL is going to go and probably quadruple its profits, most likely. A lot of more players are going to be coming, and some of them are already top of my head. Are like, you know, Kamalo Anthony, I think, could potentially come. Obviously, there's some concern on whether or not he's a money type of man or what's going to happen. He all wants to push for the NBA. Looks like an NBA team isn't going to sign him. I think he could be a potential player that, you know, comes if... You know, Brett Brown, who's the Philadelphia 76ers coach, if he eventually gets fired or something in a year or two, 
he could potentially be on his way back to the NBL. If you guys didn't know, he I'm pretty sure he actually coached the NBL before he went to um, Philadelphia. So that could potentially happen as well. So many different changes are going to be happening. And I think a lot more players are going to be exploring the NBL as an option. Of course, Australia is a beautiful place to live. It's one of the best countries in the world, if not the best country in the world. Obviously, I'm just saying that because I'm an Aussie and I absolutely love this country. But... Yeah, it's such an awesome place to live, and the money is going to be extremely good in the NBL, all because, you know, Andrew Bogut, LaMelo Ball, RJ Hampton, there's a couple other players, like, you know, Chris Golding, who plays for Melbourne United, who's an Olympic player, um, there's so much other more. There are actually one player who I was expecting to come and potentially sign in the NBL, as well as they two, uh, these two that didn't actually do it, and that was Josh Grant. Very disappointed that Josh Green didn't come to Australia to come and play. He actually signed with Arizona because, for those of you who don't know, Josh Green, who's projected, I think, to be a top... Uh, he's going to be a lottery pick, it looks like, is an Aussie. So, I was expecting for him to potentially come and play, but obviously, it didn't really work out or something didn't happen. But, yeah, I think so much more players are going to be coming, whether that's, you know, NBA players who are past their prime or whatever and looking to still play... There's going to be quite a bit more, and I think that the NBL will officially solidify itself as the second best league in, obviously, um, the world. And there's going to be other things, other players that off the top of my head, you know, like uh, Matthew Dalvadova, who's probably got maybe two to five years left in the M you know, NBA, might eventually come down to Australia to come play. So much players, um, I think, are going to come. And, yeah, obviously... It's going to be a massive work and project, uh, massive project, and you know all this stuff, work in progress. Andrew Bogut started in 20, uh, 2018. Lamelo Ball and RJ Hampton have started it in, uh, you know, followed on in twenty nineteen. And I can't wait to see what other players follow on potentially in twenty twenty, or maybe even a couple players who might get waived or something from the NBA might even come potentially come sign in the NBL, I, you know, it's going to be absolutely awesome, but anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA news and sports content, and just NBA content in general, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, and my IRL slash vlogging channels, links for them are in the description down below, and don't forget to comment in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts and opinions on the Mallow Ball and RJ Hampton coming to the NBL? Do you think the NBL is the second best league in the world? Do you think it will be the second best league in the world if it um, isn't already? What players do you think might explore coming to the NBL? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.